Hello, cheap skaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Folks, there's an old saying, one I learned from my parents, that we use often in our house now. And that is use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Now, I've always admired the ingenuity of Australians and our ability to make something from nothing or, you know, to quote John Williamson, tie it up with wire just to keep the show on the road. I know <laughs> many a time a length of bale of twine came in really handy and it's been used to, well, even to, you know, tie the foil and paper around the bowl for the steam pudding for Christmas, but to tie up the tomato plants, to wrap a parcel. Um, it's been a handle. It's been transformed into a latch to keep a gate shut on a paddock full of sheep. Bailage one's pretty handy to have around. We, we made it do with what we had. And it filled a need, you know. So that's what a lot of Australians in the past have done. They've made do with what they had on hand. They made it work to fill the need. One of my favourite radio interviews of all time was with Clive Robertson. Um, he used to be on uh, weekends in Sydney, 2UE or whatever it is. Anyway, was during the interview, and I was really nervous <laughs> to be talking to him, our conversation, we, we talked about making do. And he confessed, he confessed that he was a fan of making do. Um, he, he was brought up that way. He didn't consciously plan to live the making do lifestyle. It was just something that was habit and that happened. When he needed something, he looked around at what was already available, what he had in the house, what was in the shed, wherever, and made do. I remember him saying that he did it, he made do, and he saved his money. It was a really it was actually a really fun interview. And even if it was years and years ago, that is one of my favourites. It's really stuck in my mind that a man who could afford to go out and buy whatever he needed may do. He was a cheapskater. Now, the dictionary defines make do as, here we go, the ability to manage to get along with the means available. And that is something that we should, well, we should all aspire to do that. Not only to save money, and it will save us money, and it will save our environment, okay, but we need to do it to preserve the skills that making do involves because if we don't practice making do, our children won't practice making do. Those skills will be lost to future generations of Australians and frankly to be able to survive right now in 2022 in Australia when prices of food are going up and up and up every day when the things that we're in the habit of using aren't available we need to know how to make do if we look around we see all too often the result of a disposable society a cluttered landfill the huge personal debt and this consumer mentality of, well, if it's broken, throw it out and get a new one. It's cheap on eBay or Amazon or AliExpress or whatever. We just throw it out. We don't even go to the shops for it anymore. We buy it online. And now, hmm, we're seeing shortages and prices are going up faster than ever before in history. We're seeing 
food tripling in price in just a few weeks. Fuel's gone up. $2.20 a litre is becoming more and more common. Clothes, electronics, technology are all going up at a ridiculous rate. Then you've got our utilities, gas and electricity that we rely on are going up at a ridiculous rate. My husband's grandmother was the best make doer I have ever known. I've known her to turn a paper bag into a sun visor rather than buy a new hat or a pair of sunglasses. Now, that might be taking, um, making do to an extreme, but it did the job. It worked for her. In the circumstances, that's what she had and she didn't have to buy something she didn't need to do that job. She was happy. Basic life skills are being lost and it's all because we don't make do with what we have. We've become lazy, we've become spoiled, we have become pampered, we have become precious. And sadly, those lost skills are the things that are adding to inflation and adding to the cost of living. Now, it, it can take a little bit of imagination and perhaps we're losing that too with too much screen time. Screen time, not screen time, although you can scream at it. But next time you need a scour in the kitchen, how about rolling up the plastic bag the onions came in and using that? Trust me, it works really well. And it is tough enough to get your pots and pans clean, but it's gentle on your plates too. You run out of shampoo? Well, if you're a cheap skater with a stockpile, not for a while, but if you do run out of shampoo, try washing your hair with ordinary bath soap and rinsing it with vinegar diluted in water. It will be so clean, so shiny, so soft. You may never go back to shampoo and conditioner again. If you need a marinade for some meat, oh, add a little vinegar, a little oil, some garlic to that almost empty bottle of barbecue sauce, shake it all up and pour that over the meat. Put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Then use the marinade to baste it. It will be delicious. Waste not, want not. You've used up all the sauce in that bottle and you've not had to buy marinade, so which means you've not spent about $5. It will be so tasty. You'll wonder why you ever bothered to buy the marinades from the supermarket. You've made do. You've used it up. You've used your brain and come up with a solution for a problem that you had. Before buying new sheets, think about what you have. Are they really beyond use or do they just need to be turned? Turning sheets. Lots of, lots of um, people wouldn't know what turning sheets was. Turning sheets is one of those almost lost skills. But if you turn your sheets and make do for another year or two, how much interest will you save on your debt? How much money will you still have in your grocery budget or in your pocket that you could use to stock the pantry? I think making do has a really poor um, reputation. But it doesn't mean that you are deprived of the things you enjoy. If you become a champion make-doer, you might well find that you have more money to spend on those things that you really enjoy without any detrimental effects on your budget or to your standard of living. What do I say? Ditch the stuff that's not important to you so you've got the cash to spend on the things that are. So stop whining, even if it's just yourself, about what you don't have and what you can't get. Look at what you do have and what you can get and work out how to make do.
work out how to turn those things into what you need. It's a good skill to collect. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked our show, please give us a thumbs up. And if you know someone who might benefit from the show, who might like it, or who might benefit from knowing about Cheapskates Club, click the share button underneath me there. Oh, and if you're not already subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. I do a video almost every week. Sometimes I pop up with other ones too. Try not to push anything on you. I just try to talk common sense. Anyway, thank you for making it this far. It's been a pleasure.